This is like 08, we're purple milling and we're just killing and doing all the things that people are talking about now. And back then I was like, man, like, like I wanna be a part of lifting up this trade and stuff, but we just were busy. We were making so much money. One day I was with my wife and we went down and we were staying at a hotel just for the weekend and we were talking about cars and stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna get this or I'm gonna get that, maybe get a Lexus, maybe whatever. And she's like, what about BMW and stuff? And I was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. But on the way home, we actually stop and we actually go to the BMW dealer in Roseville. And like, I look at the car on the floor and it's like, boom, $130,000. M6, 500 horsepower, uh, V10. I was just like, dude, like, what is this? I take it for a test drive right off the floor. There, there was pride here, right? Because it wasn't so much the car, it was that I could do it. By now I'm getting lost a little bit, right? Now I'm getting lost and I say that because like, I got ripped jeans, man. Like, I come from nothing, right? You know, I got my tattoo and stuff. And now here I am on the floor looking at this crazy car. And I'm just like, man. And I just buy it. Boom. Drive it home. My wife's like, oh, can I drive it on Wednesday? I literally, like, turn around, go back and buy her a 550, a BMW 550. So in, this, in one day, I buy two cars. So my car on the M6, I put a license plate, CNC expert. I couldn't believe the entire state of California, nobody thought of that, right? I'm just like programming like CNC experts, like killing it, murdering it, slaying it, like, oh. Uh. I drove the car proudly and I was just like, man, like on top of the world, like going places, meeting the biggest people, you know, going on vacations and stuff. Vegas too many times, you know, just working crazy hours, making it happen. And basically at one point I was just like standing there and I was just like, man, 55 employees working. We're making a crazy profit. We're putting everything into the company. We got a nice big bank account. I can pretty much almost do anything that I want to. Like, this is the craziest thing, right? We went from me borrowing $5 to, you know, making a million dollars the first year to basically 55 employees just ramping. Like it literally was like made a hundred thousand dollars in a month and all of a sudden it was like five hundred thousand dollars a month when you start adding everything together like a million dollars a month that's gross right but we're making a killing everybody from the outside is just thinking they long years ago they're like titan's gonna go out of business titan's gonna he can't he can't sustain this and just as a man you know, I got sidetracked. I was always like, I'm gonna make a difference, I'm gonna make a difference, I'm gonna make a difference. But now when people are coming in that they're like, Titan, like you're so great. I've never seen this happen in this industry. You've risen from nothing so fast and this and this. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know, I stopped giving credit to the Lord. I started accepting credit for myself and I just got off course. And all of a sudden, like we come to a point the new president, you know, Obama is coming into office, there's a war on oil, there's this going on and that going on. And then all of a sudden, like my phone rings and, and my boy Alex, who, who actually was uh, took over for Rick on my account, he basically was like, Titan, oh, this is gonna be a bad day, man. 